Hello, hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Zachariah, the Ghostwriter. This is part two of how to pass Step Heal easy. And Step Heal is the most difficult thing when you are going to do your year test. You just have to know your story and be confident. Either you are going to use class control or either you are going to use the handbrake method. They are all perfectly fine. You just have to choose which one you are comfortable with. And we all know that you know the class control method you need to practice over and over again so that you can master that system and the handbrake you know method it doesn't take a lot from you it doesn't demand you to practice you know many times before you can master it it's easy it's something that anybody can do so that's why i always recommend you know the old system of using the handbrake because of it's a banker and i'm super excited to see my brothers and sisters you know you know sharing you know their achievements with me after they go there and they pass you know their driver's license test now let me talk about the things that you know you should you know avoid doing and why you should do certain things so that you can pass now first of all remember on part one i told you that when you stop your truck make sure that you stop your truck close to the white solid line you are going to struggle when you are going forward if your truck doesn't have that too much power because we know sometimes people are going there to their test with old trucks trucks which are giving them problems so you must make sure that you take the advantage of the speed when you are climbing the step in and the second thing why i told you to press that full clutch and brake you know and pull the handbrake before you put you know your car on neutral is because when you press the clutch first, you are making things easier that after pressing a brick and pulling the hand brick, you can put the car on neutral because already your foot, your left foot is already on the clutch pedal. So it makes it easier to put it on neutral because if you don't put it on neutral, you only pull the hand brick and you leave the pedals, the truck will jump and it will switch off. That's the reason why your truck must be on neutral so that even if when you leave the clutch pedal, your truck can still be at the same place and the handbrake will hold the truck. So even if when you leave the brake pedal, the handbrake, because of it's there as a banker, it will hold your truck because the job of, you know, uh, the person who will be instructing or who will be there testing you is to check if your truck will roll backwards or not. They are focusing on that. But once you're using a handbrake, that's a banker. And one more thing, why you shouldn't put your foot on the brake pedal? Because people are making that mistake of you know having the fear that the truck can roll backwards and they still put their right foot right there on top of the brake pedal. It becomes a problem because once you are given the green light to go forward, you can't go forward because your leg will be, your right foot will be glued on the brake pedal. And people behind you can tell that you're going to fail simply because of they will see the brake light. So that's why once you arrive there, you have to, you know, press full clutch, you press your brake, you know, you pull the hand brake, you put the truck on neutral and you leave all your pedals. So that when you are ready to go, you press the full clutch. Now you don't press the brake pedal. You put that right foot on the accelerator because of you need power to go forward. And that's basically it, guys. And you need to look at all those things because of they're going to help you a lot. Because if you are afraid and you put your foot on the brake pedal, it's going to be a problem because you only have two feet. If the other one is on the clutch pedal and the other one has to be on the accelerator because of you are going forward. That's why I wanted to speak about that so that you can understand why this technique it is so much important for you guys so that you can pass your driver's license. Because we have to do what we can so that we can pass. Yes, of course, others will tell you about the clutch control. But the technique that I'm telling you of the handbrake, you don't have to stress. Once you do things the way I'm just saying, you know it's gonna work because i've used it and many people used it so the system worked and you are not cheating anybody driving is about safety it's not about breaking or showing people that you can have more skills and everything it's about literally moving from your house your apartment go to wherever you want to go and come back without having an accident that's all 
So the fact of raving a car and doing all these type of things and drifting, it's just the thing that you just want to do. That's all. I just wanted to say that. And I appreciate you guys showing me love and support. Thank you.